Hey there, Chad Bonja here for Ohio University Libraries. I have several hundred business students doing the same project. They're working on a feasibility analysis of doing of opening a fitness center in Indianapolis, Indiana. In order to really do good on this project, they're going to need to understand local consumer trends and do a local market analysis in Indianapolis, Indiana using data that looks like this. So this video is going to show you how to use SimplyMap, a market research database, in order to get good data for this particular project. I should also say that the skills learned in this video can also be transferred and applied to other, most other consumer market research uh, that you're going to be doing in the U.S. as well. So here you go. So when you first get to SimplyMap, if you're going to be doing some pretty advanced searching, you'll want to create an account here and just use your Ohio email address to do so. You don't necessarily have to do this, but your work inside SimplyMap will not be saved if you do not create an account. So use your Ohio email address and create an account and it'll save your work for you for later on. So I'm going to sign in here as me. And when you first arrive here, if you've never set up an account before, you've got two choices, either to do a map or to do a report. I'm going to start off in a report because basically I want to create a report of all kinds of data for Indianapolis, Indiana and anything having to do with exercise or yoga or fitness or health concerns, things like that. So I'm going to start out doing a standard report here and if you've never done this before what you can do is actually launch this standard report wizard and we'll click right there and it first asks us to look for a location so I'm going to click on locations here and we're going to do by city because we're looking for Indianapolis. Then it makes you select your state here. So if we just type in Indiana, select that. And then in our next list here, we can type in uh, Indianapolis and then click use this location. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is select variables. And these are basically the data points we're going to be looking at for our report. So I'm going to click variables. And because we're just getting started here and we don't necessarily know what we're looking for, I'm actually going to X out of this and do a search here. Okay, so I want to do a search. So in our search box here, we can say, you know, if you're going to search for a, uh, if you're going to build a fitness center in Indianapolis, you want to look for some of the services they provide and, and see what kind of interest people have in Indianapolis for that particular uh, activity. So if I search for weight, now weight's a pretty common term here, so it's going to find stuff on like, watching diet or watching health or weight. It's going to find terms like that. But if you kind of scroll through some of these, you'll eventually see um, there'll be things that deal with, uh, for example, entertainment, leisure. I do weight training, things like that. So maybe you want to go up here and search for, uh, let's get rid of that. And let's try to search for weight training and see what that brings up. OK, so that's much better there. So we get a list of results here. And so here we have uh, percent who have participated in weight training the last 12 months. We want to and click on use this variable. And what it'll do is it'll go in and uh, add that to our list. But let's say we want to do some more. Let's say here's people who, who do weight training every chance they get. So we'll click use this variable as well. Okay. Now one thing I want you to pay, pay attention to as you're doing this is look for the folder that this data is contained in because we're actually going to go look in this folder as well to see other information. Okay, So if we want to do another search, let's clear this search and let's do maybe yoga and do a search here. Okay, So here we have again part percent participate in yoga and things like that. Okay, So look, there is this entertainment, leisure, sports and fitness, sports played, participated section also again the Simmons local folder. So what you might do is you can you can obviously add this as a variable here or if we close out of this you'll see it does bring up some data that will get you what we're looking for there. Okay, So you can actually go in here as well and do um, variables again to add more information and because that information was in the Simmons local section in that folder we can do Simmons local and then we can do entertainment leisure and then here we have uh, either physical fitness programs or sports and fitness so if we look for things like this here we have uh, people who you know what how many times a week people work out and things like that and I'm using percentages because that's easier to compare across different sized uh, locations so if you want to say what's the percentage who work out two times a week 
or people who work out three or four times a week, we can use that variable. And people who work out five or more use this variable. Percent who work out none use this variable, right? And then here's the uh, sports and fitness section here. And here we have um, maybe you want to say people who, um, let's see, if we do sports played, uh, we have different kinds of activities here. Okay, so here we have sports played every chance I get, uh, sports participating occasionally, uh, things like that. So we have all kinds of information we can look at um, as well when we're searching for our, our topics as well. So good way to get information that way. Now if we close this out, we can see here we have Indianapolis uh, versus the USA. Now if you want to compare it to another city, say for example we want to compare Chicago, we can go under locations here and then change this to like uh, cities and then do Illinois and then do um, Chicago and use this location and it adds that to there so we can compare multiple variables there as well and if you want to you can actually go up here and download this report as an Excel file uh, you can continue to add variables uh, that way as well so you can also use the same data to create a ranking uh, within um, uh, Indianapolis area here. So if you want to, you can actually launch the ranking wizard here and say do locations. And if you want to, you can actually close out of this because we've already used um, Indianapolis here. So if we wanted to, we can go up here and do recent and then do use this location. And then we close that. And then we can go under variables and we can do recent as well and so let's say we want to see um, the percent um, ranking in Indianapolis uh, of people who work out let's see um, three to four times a week so we'll use this variable here alright and we close that out and so what it'll do is we'll go in by zip code and compare by zip code in Indianapolis uh, to look at where people are more inclined to work out uh, by zip code. So here we have, um, and it kind of ranks that way. You can also go in and say, I want to change this um, and look at things rather than by zip code. You can also look at things by uh, census tracts, which would be um, a more granular way of looking at that as well. And you can kind of see it'll go through and look at, at the top 10 uh, there as well. So you can actually change if you want to to top 50. If you wanted to, look at census tracts, you can kind of see uh, that information there as well. So a good way to kind of get a, an idea as far as where um, what's the highest percentage by location uh, in, in the various zip codes around Indianapolis that are, are active in uh, physical activity of various forms and that sort of thing. So a good way to kind of pinpoint your, your target location, if you will, for um, uh, potentially opening a, a uh, fitness center. Hopefully this video helped you better understand how to use the database and how to better understand the fitness uh, center market. Should you need more help, look for the contact link on the business blog. I'll be glad to help you any way I can. Take care and have a great day.